revisit RFQ for using predefined cost factor list. So I'm going to go back and I'm going to pull out one of our RFQ which is in draft status and then we'll apply the cost factor list that we have created in the previous lesson. So let's go to Oracle Fusion Cloud Sourcing. Now here I'm going to click on done. If you recall our cost factor list is suppliers cost factors. Okay, then I'm going to hit the done button and then I'm going to go to task menu and then manage negotiations and from here I'm going to pull out a negotiation which is in draft status. Let's say this one. In fact, uh, we have to open it in edit mode. Okay, like this. And then we'll go to the lines. And here you see there is one item that we have added previously to understand attributes and attribute or predefined attribute list. So you open that one in a detail mode by clicking on this pencil icon. And in this, as you could see, most of the information that was given in the previous form is shown right here on the top, but you also have areas for cost factors, price breaks, and attributes. I explained you the procedure for creating new attribute lists, associating attribute groups and attributes, and how to have them attached to the line. And now let's see how to attach the cost factors list. So here you see cost factors, you can either uh, create uh, a new row or add from a cost factor list using this button add from list you can either go from here or you can go to actions and add from add from list so you click on that one and then you look for the cost factor that you have defined so you see this one was the cost factor list that we defined you click on ok and all the cost factors within that the three cost factors that we defined are now listed over here okay so here you can optionally give a target value you can change the pricing basis for example freight per unit or let's say percentage of line price or a fixed amount okay so I would say something like a fixed amount insurance per unit so let it be and packaging per unit okay you can give a target value and you can display that target to the supplier optionally okay so let's say freight per unit is or a fixed amount of freight could be something like um, for this particular line it could be $800 because it's a all wheel drive car it's a huge one so to transport takes a significant amount of freight okay and then you can display that amount to the supplier if you wish and once you're done you can save the changes so next time when supplier goes on and they will enter the line details they would be able to see these cost factors in the lines to quote um, and then what will happen is um, the cost factors would be applied automatically based on the supplier quotation price and it will be shown as a transformed price in the supplier quotation line okay so for example if the supplier has quoted uh, uh, 55,000 US dollars for this particular all-wheel drive car then um, that will be the quoted price and automatically um, this cost factor if for example if they have given a value of $500 then automatically that $500 for freight will be added to the quoted price so the transform price will become $55,500 US dollars okay likewise in the insurance you can also give what is the target value and whether to display the target to the suppliers or not so once you're done you can simply save this line and proceed further for rest of the RFQ details and then publish it to the suppliers.